YouTube channel I hope you're all doing well I'm back in my usual spot on the floor because today I've got a very ow a very big parcel here so I was kindly sent some stuff by a company called cherries they're an online company they have an app and a website which I'll leave both of them on the screen now the best way I could describe them is like a B&M and savers but online now I don't know about you guys but I love a bit of B&M and I love a bit of savers. So the two combined and online because obviously these times unless you're going to B&M to get something essential and you might be limiting your time spent in B&M anyway so you're not going to be walking around looking at everything. That's why cherries are so perfect because you can do all of that from the comfort of your bed. They have everything on there. Food, kitchen stuff, garden stuff, beauty stuff, skincare, everything, stationery. They have everything on there. So I literally have this massive box here it takes up the whole frame okay so the first things i'm going to show you guys are these two little yankee candles they're so small and cute i think these were a pound each this one's autumn glow and this one is citrus rose i actually cannot smell these because i actually have a cold and i can't smell anything but i got my sister to smell them i thought they'd just be cute like i can put them in like my little candle holders and burn them and hopefully they smell nice most of the yankee candle ones do smell nice anyway so yeah hopefully these smell nice my sister said they smell nice anyway and we like similar stuff so i think i will like them just obviously i cannot smell them at the moment didn't see any other scents but that might be because they were sold out i then picked up two little car scents for my car so the first one i got is a love hearts one and this is tangy raspberry i know there's similar ones like the drumstick one and stuff like that smell really nice so hoping this is gonna smell nice when i open it up this one was also a pound and then i also got a sweet cherry one cherry is my favorite car scent i needed to buy a new one i just never got around to it buying a new one so i, I saw this one then i thought oh my god it's actually so cute because it's actually in the shape of cherries i actually kind of have like a little obsession with cherries which is why again this one was also a pound so i'll report back to you on them obviously i'm at home all day i'm not even going for a dog walk at the moment because i have a cold and i don't want to catch something you know when I'm, my immune system's already trying to fight this off so i thought i'm going to pick up some stuff that's just going to make it all a little bit better picked up a few masks first one i picked up is this one i'm pretty sure they sell these in this brand in savers derma v10 and i think this is a dupe of the l'oreal ones i actually used to have this one and the charcoal one this one is a clay mask with red algae and it's a brightening one and it says has up to 10 applications also says against animal testing i can't remember the price of this one it was either one or two pounds and also got a foot pack this is an argan oil one again these are pounds it's from the same brand derma v10 so you leave it on for 20 minutes i just thought washing my sheets shaving my legs and then putting this on with the softest feet ever. I've never actually done a foot mask before, so I'm very excited. And then I got, who remembers when you used to have sleepovers when you, with your friends when you were younger? And you were like, oh, let's do a face mask. And you'd go to Superdrug and you'd buy one of these bad boys. Oh my god, these are literally such a throwback. I always used to do these when I was younger. This one is an argan oil mud mask they had a few of these ones they had like the sheet masks and peel ones but to be honest i'm not a massive fan of those i do just prefer like a standard normal mask so yeah this one was a pound so i picked up a hair mask i absolutely love hair masks this is a coconut rescue mask very excited to use this i actually washed my hair yesterday so when i next go to wash my hair i'm going to try this one also picked up some saint moritz fake tan in dark they had the medium one as well i didn't see the light one on there although they probably do have it it probably was just out of stock three pounds i was actually really excited when i saw they did fake tan on there and then i saw these these are from anovia i think it is and i've got three of them they're all different so all they are is actually this one says gradual tan so all they are is like wash on wash off tan i thought i'd try out all three i got these because i love the bondi sands wash on wash off one like so good the other day when i uploaded the picture of the heel to my instagram i'm not fake tanned and i was like i don't want my foot to look pale so i literally just put it on the part of my leg that was showing so people think i'm tanned and i'm not it's a lifesaver so i thought these are going to come in really handy when i'm taking pictures and maybe i just want my chest tanned this one is a shimmer one which i thought would look stunning with like a soft box on me or like flash on me or something like that and then this one is the glow one perfect and these were only a pound each i'm excited to see if these are if they live up to the bondi sands one because i am obsessed with the bondi sands one vaseline moisturizer i normally get the brown one they might have been sold out of the all the other ones i think 
yeah this was the only one they had i think this might be the scent free one this was only two pounds which is so cheap for vaseline moisturizer because they're normally like six five pounds aren't they if they're not on offer i always use this when i'm in summer and stuff and when i'm fake tanning on my elbows just before and like on my knuckles and stuff so yeah i'm now stocked up for a while to go on my feet after i've used a foot mask when i'm in bed with my fresh sheets and that i picked up an intensive foot cream which is obviously just to nourish your feet and moisturise your feet. It's menthol and peppermint. And again, this was only £1. Oatmeal Daily Moisturising Cream. Now, I showed this to my mum. I did like a little haul downstairs for my mum, as you do. And she actually said that my nan was allergic to oat moisturisers. It's for all skin types. It's fragrance-free, so I'm sure it should be fine. I love moisturisers, especially now I'm starting to wear more like cycling shorts and stuff around the house and like in photos and stuff. Don't want to have no crusty knees. This was a pound, I think. I then picked up some cleaning stuff, which is like gold dust at the moment. So I picked up two Sephora's. This one is the one that I already have in cranberry and orange and I just love it. I think it's a Christmas scent, but I just love it. So I picked another one up of it and I think these are one pound. Both of them are one pound. They do have um other scents on there like um fresh linen and the floral one which were £1.50 I think but the lavender one also again I can't smell it but I when I can smell it I have like a lavender bed thing that Jed actually got Jed actually got me for Christmas which like helps me sleep I just find lavender really really soothing then picked up a lot of skincare stuff because I love skincare so I'm gonna try go through this quite quickly and not talk about each product too much so I got these hit the spot got two of them these are six cleansing chin and forehead pore strips. I absolutely love pore, uh, pore strip. <laughs> I was going to say pore head pore strips. So yeah, these ones are for your chin, which I'm so excited to do. Also got these acne patches. I've seen these on TikTok. I'm very intrigued. I think you just like put them on your spots when you have them. So there's 36 patches in here and then six of these in here. Also got these charcoal ones, which are for your nose. Oh my God, I love the charcoal nose ones so much. Then I got some in Germany. Or something like that. Oh, me and Jed got some somewhere and we did them. Mm, I love doing them so much. I'm sorry if this stuff like cringes you out, but I personally love it. So yeah, I got these. Very excited to use it. Got this simple eye makeup remover. This one was £1.75. I wear waterproof mascara sometimes because it holds a curl better in my lashes. I'm still putting on a bit of makeup most days. This is pretty much what I've been doing every day. So yeah, I thought I'm gonna run out of that soon. So this was so handy that they had it. Literally a lifesaver. I was kind of on like a charcoal theme i saw this and i was really intrigued so i got a detoxifying um micellar water with charcoal powder aloe vera vitamin e and chamomile flower extract i thought this would be lovely i think this was one pound it's fragrance free and you can use on your face eyes and lips so i think you might be able to take eye makeup off with this because i thought it was just going to be for the skin but it says actually for your eyes as well interesting so yeah very excited about that then got two more charcoal things like i said i actually really really like charcoal stuff i've got a clay mask and this absorbs excess oils and deeply cleanses the skin and draws out deep rooted dirt very excited i hope this one isn't like a peel one. Oh yeah and then rinse thoroughly with clean and warm water i think they did have like a peel one but i already have a charcoal peel one but like i said i'd prefer just like normal masks that you just like wash off with warm water so yeah, got that. Again, a pound. And then I also got this detox cleanser. This one helps remove impurities and excess oil and leaves skin feeling cleansed and refreshed. Then also picked up this Hit The Spot Blackhead Cleanser. Gentle enough for everyday use. So, this cleanser helps fight against blackheads and prone areas of the face, removing dirt, oil and dead cells which accumulate. Exciting, because I actually do get a few blackheads every now and then like here so hopefully this will help prevent the blackheads that i do get all of this skincare stuff was only a pound and then i also picked up this refreshing apricot facial wash i think this might be a dupe of oh i can't remember who it's by now i hope it actually smells like apricots suitable for all skin types with natural apricot exfoliants sounds lovely i'm honestly kitted out with skincare for ages now I then picked up two roll-ons so this is the dove pomegranate one i think i used to use this one um I'm quite fussy with like roll on smells. I'm a bit weird like that. I can't just buy like any one, but I'm pretty sure I used to use this one. And then I also picked up a men's one. I prefer these when I'm like working out and stuff just because I feel like they last longer. This one is a 48 hour powerful protection and it's in the extra fresh scent. I then picked up a few random things because like I said, there is so much on the website. Like so, so, so much. I think you'll be shocked by like how much stuff is actually on there. This was purchased because of tiktok i actually have white air force that jed got me for christmas i've seen the videos of people cleaning their white shoes of it and honestly it makes them so so white so thank you to whoever first created that 
TikTok video because obviously everyone goes and tries it out for themselves. So thank you to the person that first showed this on TikTok. This silicone um, tin. It's not really a tin because it's silicone. I picked this up to make banana bread in. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love banana bread. There's actually banana bread waiting for me downstairs. So you bet as soon as I'm finished filming this, I'm going to go stuff my face with banana bread. But we have like loads of silicone stuff in our house, like silicone cupcake things, which are really good because you can just reuse them and then you're not throwing away that paper. Less waste. I think this was £2 and it's pink. And yeah, I just thought I'm going to be doing a bit of baking. I then picked up these little gems because I thought they'd be good for either like makeup looks and it was so cute like they had little flowers and also my scrapbook and these are a pound I always look in like stationary sections when I go to places because I do obviously scrapbook so I always pick up like stickers that I like and stuff they are in like strips but I literally just cut them to make them like singular or anything like that I got some Alberto Bassam to clean my brushes I'm actually out so yeah perfect that they had it and I thought whilst well, we're in lockdown I might as well literally clean all of my brushes all of my sponges everything like that they're all gonna get cleaned then I got this Radox a long lasting fragrance body wash I can't smell it. I think this was £1.50. Oh, here we go. Scent of matcha green tea and coconut water. Mm, that sounds good. I've never actually had matcha green tea. But I know, like, loads of people love it. So I'm hoping this smells good. So I picked up something else, which is, like, gold dust at the moment. I picked up some bars of soap. To be fair, I think the bars of soap are a bit more easier to find than, like, um, like the pressy ones that you press down on. But these are actually better because... They actually clean your hands better than those ones do. So these are the simple ones and it's for sensitive skin. No artificial perfume or colour, which is perfect because it means I can use these on my eyebrows. I then did actually get some food. I actually had to stop myself from ordering loads of sweets and stuff because I don't need them. I got some Haribo straws. I was going to get the Tang Plastics, but I had Tang Plastics not that long ago, so I thought I'd pick up some straws instead. I absolutely love these, so I picked up one of the Beanies flavoured coffees. I have two of these already. I think I have a maple one. Is it maple? Maple fudge, I think it is, or something like that, um, from Aldi. And then I also have a pumpkin one, which is so nice, which I got from Sainsbury's. And this is a creamy caramel flavoured coffee. Haven't tried it yet, but what I'm going to do with this is, if you've seen that TikTok trend of everyone making that... Um, coffee when it's like really like thick the thick creamy coffee i'm gonna do it with this caramel flavored thick creamy coffee although i haven't tried it yet i tried it at jed's but i couldn't be asked to stand there whisking it up so i'm gonna try it here but i'm gonna i didn't put the sugar in so i'm gonna try it with sweetener here and hopefully it works because i don't really like sugar in my coffees like even when i have iced coffees so i'm gonna try sweetener i love flavored coffee so much especially anything caramel give it to me and this was two pound this for my room so it is this star projector now love evie has the most amazing star projector but i think it's like 40 quid or something like that. i was like mm, i can't bring myself to spend 40 quid on the star projector for my room so i saw this one there i think this one was three pounds it changes color i can't wait to light my room up with this it needs three aa batteries but that's fine because i have rechargeable ones anyway i thought this was so cool and i've wanted a star projector for my room for a while now so when i saw it i was like yep straight in my basket then lastly i saw these sponges and i thought those are interesting let me pick them up i'm gonna try them they are pound each so this one is infused with aloe vera wet sponge simply splash a little bit of your favorite soap gel body wash into it massage into your skin using circular motions i think it might just be like an exfoliating kind of sponge with aloe vera which i thought was really cool so i'm really excited to try this i also had a charcoal one but i didn't get the charcoal one because i actually got this one in the charcoal one so it's like a little funny it's really hard obviously it gets soft when you put water on it this is a konjac facial sponge for a deep refreshing cleanse it exfoliates and refines and removes makeup so if i put water on and put this on my face will it take my makeup off i hope so it's made from pure konjac plant root the charcoal infusion will help eliminate impurities and oil from your skin give your skin a natural glow and cleanse it at the same time so i don't think you need any soap or anything with this which is amazing so yeah i'm really excited to try these out honestly guys Thank you so much to Cherries because I am literally kitted out for ages. Like, I'm going to have the best skincare pamper evenings ever. You all need to go on Cherries and order yourself a little care package. Have, like, a nice pamper evening or order someone that you care about a nice little care package to their house. That's a little surprise for them. Oh, my God, that would actually... That would be the best thing if I just got loads of skincare stuff and, like, loads of flora just turn up at my house that someone sent to me. So that's everything that I got from Cherries. And I got all of this stuff 
for only 50 pounds like i look at it and i'm like 50 pounds all this stuff thank you again to cherries for sending me all of this lovely stuff to make my week a little bit brighter i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you all very soon in my next video bye